Reason allows the slicing of audio. And what that means is, everything that you record or import can be made essentially a bit like a Rex loop. You'll probably know Rex loops from the factory sound bank. They are specially sliced up loops with embedded tempo information. And you're able to change their tempo really easily in line with the tempo of the song. Here's a part that I've recorded. It's a rhythmic part. If I double click on it to open it in edit mode, you can see that it's stretch type can be set here as well interestingly all around is a good general stretch type if something's a melody you could set it to melody vocals have a slightly different character so you could set it to vocal as well if i move up a little bit you can see i haven't told reason to do anything here i haven't activated any commands or anything like that it's done this by itself and these little things here are slice markers if i can zoom in any further you should be able to see them more clearly here we are just scroll along and so you can see what it's done is it's automatically detected each transient. Now obviously with rhythmic material this is rather easier because these transients are very obvious. With other kinds of material it's a bit trickier and you might have to come in and do a bit of work. But basically this is how audio slicing works in Reason. Everything that you record or import is automatically sliced. If I was for example to come out of this, create a new track and bring in some kind of loop. This is less rhythmic, as you can hear. If I was to bring that in, I've accidentally left snap set to an eighth. I'm going to put that back to bar. If I double click on that, that's been analyzed on import. That's not one of Reason's own sounds. That's just from my desktop. And it's had a bit more trouble finding markers here, as you can see, because it's not rhythmic. These are still free to be picked up and moved about, but we'll look at that next.